welcome back. Yes, no Lemmy yet, no Frank. We got Rusty. Uh, yeah, it was called Rusty because we nicknamed it Rusty because when it came, every panel needed welding on it. That was about, I think we looked it up 12, 13, 14 years ago we got this. Went around France with the kids and everything. God knows how they fitted. Uh, but yeah, 12 years later, it's got rust again. Still rusty. <laughs> to be fair, some of the rusty points were rusty then and they still are now. I never got around to fixing them all completely. I did the ones that were the major ones and the ones that sort of just let in a little bit of water uh, around where your bed was and stuff. I left them. Anyway, we're hopefully going to get back to those ones, but they're not the important ones. We've got a big side panel to be done in a minute. We'll show you that. Uh, we've got the panel just down there. Uh, which has just been left in my garage and got wet and got rusty. Uh, I think it's already been repaired once before. But anyway, that's all we've got to do. Uh, and a few other odd jobs and we can get some more welding done. Great. But yeah. So let's stop all the talking. Um, sausages and Yorkshire pudding for dinner. We're going to get this spun around or maybe just do it where it is and work on it. So I've driven it for the first time here to the farm since uh i fixed my i fixed i think i said i had a temperature gauge issue it had a low low resistance on the temperature for the engine um error code was thrown so i rewired that basically but there's a big big circular plug that i basically bypassed and went straight to the uh, temperature sensor and that fixed it so after all those years i've had that sensor problem forever i still have the issue when i start the car start rusty up um the tdi engine doesn't want to rev until you sort of really hold your foot down and then it goes Wah! and then it's absolutely fine after that. So I think as well, that is still related to the clutch and brake switches, which I don't have wired in properly. They don't throw fault codes, but I think the ECU thinks, well, you should have put your foot on the clutch and you should be starting the engine, but the engine's running, but I'm not 100% sure you put the clutch down. So I'm a bit dubious. So we could maybe try and look at wiring them in, but I don't think that'll happen this episode. All right, let's show you what I've got to do. Oh, I've got a love working outside, there's somebody else grinding away in the farm. So yeah, this is what we've got to replace. For some reason, the heat mate doesn't like that. Um, I think I remember looking once before, oh, we might have wiped a little bit of hug over this once before, but not much. But um, it definitely looked like it had a uh, another repair section put in along here, and that's what's bubbling. You can even see a little line there, I think. But anyway, we've got this repair panel. <coughs> a little bit rusty because I did my garage and I should have painted it. That comes right up to here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it right up to here and just fold it under. I made the mistake a while ago on the rear panels when I did many, many years ago of trying to butt weld these things, and it was just really ridiculous. And I've got loads of warps in it. So what we we'll do is I think we we'll cut along this line here, and then fold this one underneath. If you see what I mean, and just um, and plug weld it through. It's a hell of a lot easier welding on an edge because a, a corner and overlapping a corner because it keeps it straight. But as well as if you do it on the con convex bit the pointy bit not the indent bit it makes it a lot easier to fill as well try and just get in this gap here with a filler and getting it smooth but we'll see we'll see um so things we've got to look out for is setting light to the inside there's a big kitchen cabinet behind this and everything we'll try not to move it so we're going to go carefully on this and just try and once we get it open we can see if there's any uh foam or anything like that and there's an lpg tank underneath which is pretty much drained uh so it's only got the gas left uh, so yeah, we just want to try and avoid that as well, but yeah, I think we drained that last year, it was empty, so, but it's not good. Anyway, let's get the angle grinder and a screwdriver and hack away. Pause a time lapse, Madison. So maybe you want to trim that bit. Uh, yeah, the farmer came along and had a chat to him, so he's happy. So yeah, as always, it's worse than you think. First thing though is that this bottom edge, which is one of the, I guess you know, it's not a seal as such because it, well, it is a seal, but it's not structural because it has a chassis, I think, as far as I know. Anyway, it doesn't have a chassis. Anyway, this seal. So this lip here looks pretty good. So we just need to grind this off and that'll be good for plug welding the uh, other panel onto. What we did notice is, is it's like a, a, a lip here, a floor that, you know, goes to the panel. I need to go get the other panel and see. 
You can also see the uh, where the original, where the this, uh, the nice red is the original panel. You can see there with the plug welds where somebody else had welded a, a panel over the top to repair it before. But yeah, so these are always a bit of a tricky one to do when you're doing a repair panel because I suspect, you know, you, you've got to sort of join it inside somehow. So we can either get through from the inside maybe, or we might even be able to stick a flex and bond, bond it and we weld an edge on there, weld a, put a 90 degree edge onto it. Obviously we're gonna have to cut it all out and remake that. So we're gonna have to find some door skin for that. Okay, I've got all that bottom edge cleaned off, as you just saw. We'll take this back off in a minute so you can have a look, but I just, I managed to sort of tap it in there. I think this panel doesn't have slight, it doesn't have a, such much of a curve on it, this top section to match. We may have to just put a few slices in the back, just to, on the back lip, just to give it a bit of a curvature. Not too far off anyway, we can make it work anyway. It's gonna be better than what was there anyway. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, this is originally, this is like a repair panel. But obviously you can see that bottom panel would have been the part of the bottom seal and then this wing would have come down on top of it so we're gonna to have to do some sort of fabrication skills or weld from inside or do something to uh, join that up i don't think it's worth trying to undo the spot welds and because that's one option is to undo the spot welds of this section do the bottom seal section then put that back on top which you know to be honest you might be able to do you might be able to sort of bend the, the, the panel down a bit and then bend it back that could be an idea, actually, couldn't it? Obviously, by the time you read this, uh, yeah, see, there's not many spot welds. We could drill those out, repair the bottom rail, bend this slightly, MIG weld back through that one, bend the panel back again, if that's if we overlapped it on the top, though. That's the trouble. We'd have to overlap it on the top, not the underside. So I don't know if that's an issue. We need to have a think about that. And again, just trying to work out where the best thing is to cut it here. Um... It's quite nice to try and leave as many edges, bent edges as possible because it keeps the warpage da down more. So, uh, yeah, we we'll call it it and come back tomorrow. Day two, Madison, add that in there, day two. Uh, we're gonna get down, we're gonna hoover this out, Henry Hoover it. I've decided to split this panel into two, build the bottom section, we're gonna repair this section with a bit of a lemon bolt head. Some work going on as well. Oh, it's now 10 o'clock, nearly, started to rain. So we come inside and we're trying to drill these out and hopefully we can kill a bit half hour, just prepping some other bits for the rain to go. Even with the methy bents, that actually worked out quite well. I didn't have my spot drill drill. I just piloted a little hole using a little drill just to sort of get a centre. Then used a 10 mil drill and that seemed to just, just popped off. So yeah, let's see if it goes still raining and then we'll try this bit on. Then we'll do it in two bits. Okay, okay. I still have to get Henry out, we'll just do that in a minute. So yeah, uh, upside down, silly Matthew. Yeah, drill some holes along here to plug weld. We could maybe get the spot weld on that, but I think some nice plug welds are just going to be nice. the stronger for what this thing needs to be. Hey, 
face it, it's something like that. And so what we need to do now is just rejoin this up and what I'll do is I'll just just bridge it and go underneath it and just put some stitch welding on. I think that'll be good enough for now. And before this goes on, we'll repair a little bit down in the corners here as well. So yeah, we cut some strips out of the old thing and we're just doing a few sections, I think, just to keep it simple. Cut a bit more of this off. There's a bit of a lot here, so. Might as well keep some of this good metal. There's no point getting all the way back. And then later, yeah, I'm not quite sure what we're doing about welding down. As I still said, I was half tempted to maybe overlap onto the top. I can't do that though. But anyway, let's get on. <sighs> Okay, we've got that bottom section in. A little well just to do and tidy up. It's not. Well, it's my car, so it'll do. If you're doing a full nut and bolt restoration, you strip the old thing down and get it sandblasted. But this is a vehicle where we just constantly just patch it up and keep it going. Uh, so yeah, just double checking every time you do this top bit, making sure that the, sort of the, the, the swage line is looking okay. Yeah, so we get a bit of a epoxy primer just on the bottom bit for now. We'll have to schedule a full respray another day, but not today. Uh, I keep contemplating whether to fold this edge out a little bit, weld through. And then uh, bend it and overlap and just put it on top. Yeah, uh, be better underneath, but yeah. Let's see what I end up doing. Don't copy me. Okay, let's take the fridge out and see how far we can get in. And uh, I think we might be able to do quite a lot just by going through with the fridge, which I know I can remove easily-ish. Okie dokie, the fridge is out. There you go, it's my new panel. And uh, yeah, mostly the better way to do this because I can now put a bit of insulation in behind all that as well before we put the fridge back. Uh, so the fridge is back here, look at that lovely fridge. <laughs> used to work on all three settings when I first, well, when I first got it, it didn't. I put a new uh, heater element in for the 240 volts, but that sort of seemed to stop. But it seems to work on gas okay in the end, that's okay. And then I took some of this out as well. That's in there, so one, that's a good fire hazard, but two, that is great for absorbing the water. So yeah, I don't know whether to drag the world around, feed it through the window or do whatever, but we're trying to bash a panel in a bit now and make sure it sort of looks fit. We'll check from the outside. 
Okay, surprisingly, I was getting a bit of trouble trying to get into the corners to actually push out. So I just welded a couple of bits of angle on there. It is a camper van after all, and it allowed me to use them as handles and pull them out and tap it. I did put a little dent in the panel, but oh well. Uh, but that's more because my tack weld broke and then it twisted the metal. But anyway, we've got a couple of tacks on along the top there. It's not looking too bad. And then it'd be a lot easier to put a little skimmer or filler on there. And so yeah, so what we need to do now is get inside. Well, maybe do some more tack welds along the top and then we get inside and actually try and weld through to the bottom panel. Right, managed to get inside, plug welded those in, put a couple of tacks down the sides on the outside anyway, a bit of sealant will be fine. So I need to see if I can mix up some filler if I've got any here. And uh, yeah, that's all right. This is the camper van, the rear panels are awful as well because I did them on my drive years ago. And uh, yeah, you can, see, you can see scratch marks in them from the, uh, oh, they're wavy as anything as well. So need replacing really instead of just you know, they could be blocked, you know, but... Uh, anyway, I'm hot. So let's see if we've got any filler of any kind anyway. I don't think I have. Otherwise, we'll have to just put some primer on it for now and just uh, call it a day. All right, calling it. So uh, it's going to be the end of the video. I thought there was a bit of rust to do the other side, but there was a bit of rust to do the other side, but it's a bit cosmetic, but it was a piece of filler falling off, so we just whacked that off, basically. Put a bit of prime on it, won't show you that, because that's quality work, but yeah, definitely needs a little bit, as all my projects do, need a little bit of TLC at some point, but uh, keep saying soon, we might get them all under one roof, but we may do, may do. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for the support. I know, again, these aren't exciting Lemmy videos, but these things have got to be done. I've got to get some of these projects done to a certain extent so they're still drivable and you know i can actually use them when i want to on the uh, off days but yeah we've got lemmy sitting here i'm trying to still sort out the farmer field we want to give it a bit of a, a rollicking around the field so that'd be quite cool as well and uh yeah still cracking on with the daughter's camera van as well so yeah thank you for all the people that keep just watching these videos it does help um if you like hit the like button and subscribe and do all the wonderful stuff um, tell a friend, go check out the old videos, go show them the old projects as well. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on the good stuff soon. All right, stay safe everyone. Uh, pizza for dinner tonight. And uh, yeah, not too sure when this video is going out because I don't think we'll get it out Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. But anyway, till the next one. Take care everyone. Bye.